Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Friday to you all. I pray you all received sweet sleep last night. Woke up with bells and whistles on, ready to take on this new day. A day we've never seen before, a day we'll never see again. But it is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Listen, we made it through another week. That right there is enough to praise God. Well, welcome to the gathering of hearts on this morning. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka I am the heart gatherer. And this morning, your daily dosage is a continuation of what we've been talking about all week integrity what's in your wallet we're on part four integrity what's in your wallet part four and so as we close this series out let's just go back over what integrity is it's the adherence to moral and ethical principles soundness of moral character in other words, honesty. My version is, is doing the right thing when no one is watching, even when the choice isn't easy. And so today um, we're going to talk about how to preserve your integrity. On yesterday, um, we talked about ways for living a life of integrity. And so today, how to preserve that integrity. And so the first thing in preserving your um, integrity is you've got to define your values, your morals, and your ethics. You've got to define what those are. You've got to know what you believe in. So these are the values, the morals, the ethics that you're not going to compromise no matter what life's consequences no matter what light no, that you're not going to compromise no matter the consequence it doesn't matter you're going to stand up for righteousness if it means that you're going to be out on an island by yourself you don't care what the consequence is you're not going to compromise because you have values you have morals you have ethics um so i'm not going to compromise my salvation and make you feel good or to feel comfortable in your sin i'm not going to compromise my my word or my value for your emotions. I don't go on sale. And so I'm never going to devalue me. I'm never going to devalue me for your brokenness. I'm never going to devalue me because you just don't get it. Um, I'm not going to compromise my integrity. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to be getting my hair done on government time if I work for the government and I'm supposed to be working. But what I will be doing is exhibiting the fruit of the spirit that we find in Galatians 5.22. And it says this, but the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, in other words, self-control. And so this is what I'm going to exhibit because this is how I define my values. This is how I define my morals. This is how I define all of my ethics. I go to the book of Galatians 5 and start at 22. And now I compare what am I doing when I have to make a decision? Is that a decision? decision of love? Is that a decision of joy? Is that decision going to bring me peace? Is that decision, you know, about goodness? Am I exhibiting faith? And so the first thing, define your values, morals, and ethics, and then mirror them with Galatians 5.22. Again, here, when I define these morals, values, and ethics, I'm not going to compromise no matter what the consequence. Number two, analyze every choice you make. You know, Luke 14, 28 says you can't build a building, you know, and finish it unless you count the cost. And so you're going to have to count the cost on everything. But here we're counting the cost on right and wrong. Ask yourself this. If this went viral, would I be okay? So whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is you're saying, you know how people want to go viral these days. Some people do, some people don't. Some people have gone viral because of something that was not pleasant. Others gone viral because it's funny or because, you know, it brought joy to people. But when you are in a place where you have to make a decision to do right or to do wrong, ask yourself, if this scenario went viral, would I be okay with it? Would it glorify God or would it look like I'm not a Christian? Would it embarrass me? Would it embarrass my family? And so here's where your integrity gets checked. This thing that I'm dealing with, what am I going to do? Nobody's watching, but then ask yourself, 
if this thing went viral, would I be okay with it? And here's the other one. If I decide to do this, will I feel good afterwards? Again, if I decide to do this, will I feel good afterwards? Number three, encourage integrity. Psalm 26, 11, the Amplified says this, but as for me, I shall walk in my integrity, redeem me and be merciful and gracious to me. And so usually people with integrity have the same characteristics, right? They're humble. They have a strong sense of self. They have high self-esteem. They're self-confident, which are very important. But it's a chance that you'll be under pressure to make the wrong choice. And so you've got to learn how to spend time with yourself by getting to know yourself, develop relationships with those who demonstrate integrity and who support your decisions. And so we're right back at Amos 3.3. 3. How can two walk together except they agree? And so you've got to learn how to encourage integrity. Again, it says, but as for me, I shall walk in my integrity, redeem me and be merciful and gracious to me. And so there you have it real simple to wrap up um, this this series of integrity, what's in your wallet, um, how to preserve your integrity, three things. You've got to define your values, your morals, and your ethics. You've got to analyze every choice you make by counting the cost of the right and the wrong. And then number three, you've got to encourage integrity, which means you've got to be around people who do the right thing. You've got to do the right thing. You've got to keep it in your forefront that even though I'm alone and no one is watching, God, heaven is always watching. And we always want to make God happy, proud. We never want to grieve him. We never want to grieve the Holy Spirit. And so we want to always do the right thing, even when no one is watching, even when the choice is hard to make, because we are God's people, because we have the word in us, we want to always exhibit Galatians 5.22 as best we can. Sometimes we mess up, sometimes we fall. But yesterday we talked about that. When I make a mistake, admit my mistake, be accountable, and then move on. Keep moving. Get out of the old, get out of the past, get into the new live in your presence so that you can get to your future. Amen. Hey, listen, that's the daily dosage for today. Integrity, what's in your wallet part four. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please do so because there you can find all of your dosages in one place. Follow me on social media platforms. God wants me whole. Visit the website, godwantsmewhole.org. You know how we do this thing. Come on, let's say it together. Say, God, God wants me whole and I am. Again, I'm Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka I am the heart gatherer. I love you guys a bunch. Go out there. Have a spec while amazing day. Look out for falling blessings because they are falling all around you. And I will see you right back here on Monday morning as we Start a fresh weekly dose. I'm sorry, daily dosage. A new series is what I'm trying to say. So have a spec while amazing weekend as well. Enjoy your families. Enjoy God. And while you're out there, tell somebody about Jesus. Tell somebody about his love. Give testimony on what God has done for you. Love you guys a bunch.